started motifs are done using sh shuttle and thread, tatting shuttle and thread. I've used tatting shuttle and thread and these motifs I'm still doing which is yet to be finished completely and these can be placed in dresses, hanky edges or table mats or any decorative pieces and I've used beads also for small small motifs which are placed in sarees and dresses today I would like to show just basics of tatting it has only two knots a chain and a ring which are the basics and we need to learn two knots chain and how to form a chain and a ring basic stitches for tatting are double stitches pico a ring and a chain I have joined the shuttle and ball thread together the ball thread will be formed will be chain and the shuttle thread will be ring now let me make a ring from the shuttle thread and hold the shuttle between the thumb and middle finger parallel and these two fingers will be placed on top of the thread now move the shuttle downwards as I was showing and move it through the ring pull it and then pull this thread to form the first knot of the double stitch and the second one will be the same hold it parallel, hold the shuttle parallel between the fingers and these two fingers on top of the thread and this shuttle will be moved from top to bottom and then the left hand thread will be pulled to form a double stitch and we can move the ring to see if the knots are placed form properly Next, I'm going to show you again. Hold it between the fingers parallel. And this thread will move from down to up for the first knot, and the second knot from top to down, and again, once again, shuttle will be parallel to the fingers. You should not move the shuttle. Keep these two fingers on top of the thread and move the shuttle down. Place it through the fingers. Move it through the pair. ring. Hold it tightly. Pull it. And when this should always be straight. And after this is straight, this thread should be pulled. And the second will be from top to bottom. Keep it straight and then pull the thread. Once again, I'm going to show you. Hold it in this way. Move the shuttle slowly. Keep it straight. Pull the thread. And the second one will be from top to bottom keep it straight and pull the thread four knots are over I'm going to do six and once you practice it you can move your fingers quickly and now I'm going to make a pico this is called as a pico for the first double stitch you are going to leave some thread and place the second double stitch and this will be pico and I'm going to do six more double stitch one two
six. Now we are going to leave the ring and pull the shuttle thread form to form a ring. This is the ring. And now for the chain you will have to reverse this in this way. And wrap the thread as I have shown here. Should not make a ring. Just wrap it on the left hand ring finger. And if your shuttle thread is too lengthy, you can wrap it to your desired length and hold the shuttle parallel again between the fingers, these two fingers on top of the thread and the shuttle should move from down to top and second will be from top to down. ring and a chain. These are the basic stitches for all patterns.